Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment that says thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page. We can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a portable smart space heater by a company called Clavast. Now, once you open it up, you're naturally going to get a user manual that explains how to operate it, all the details. We're going to cover a lot of that right here in the video. Then you're going to get the device itself. So it has a nice uh, little long cord to plug it in so you can kind of position it wherever you need to. Going over the device itself, you can see it's kind of this modern, cool look to it. Uh, the heater is right in the front that kind of sticks out. Uh, to give you an idea of the size, it is approximately seven and a half inches in diameter, and it's about 18 uh, and a half inches tall. Now, on the back of the device, it does have a little spot where you can put your hand to carry it around from room to room, which means it just it's, it's a portable space here, which is really, really nice. Now, it's designed for rooms up to 200 square feet, so that covers a lot of different rooms. So whether you're utilizing this in your living room, your bedroom, your bathroom, kitchen, whatever, uh, you're going to be covered. It's just not designed to heat up your whole house. It's designed to heat up in the room you are in. Now, another thing I really like about it, on the back here, it has a removable um, intake air grill. Just pop it out via the bottom. Uh, and it has a little screen here, and that's all designed to catch hair and dust so that's not going into the heating mechanism. And it's removable, and it's easy to clean, which is a nice little feature. Uh, another cool feature, it does have a safety uh, feature on the bottom. There is a little uh, kind of gray tab, if you will. Uh, when that is pushed in, it will turn on. However, if it's not pushed in, the device will not turn on when it's plugged in. So it's kind of like a little safety feature built into it. Now, it does have a lot of the other safety features, like if it tips over for more than 45 degrees, it will automatically turn off, which is a nice uh, feature that it has. Um, now, as far as the controls, now, this is what's really cool. Everything can be controlled on the top. It has your power button. It has your different modes, your timers, your uh, plus and minuses, and your oscillating option but that can also all be controlled via the app. If you want to connect it to an app, you can do that, or you can utilize the device on the top. So it has multiple different ways of connection. If you do choose to go through the app, it gives you a little bit more customizable. You can kind of fine tune things a little bit easier, which is really, really nice. It does connect to your home Wi-Fi via the 2.4 gigahertz uh, signal. So if your router can't uh, de kind of determine that automatically, just make sure you are connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, another really cool thing is if you do utilize the app, you can set it up so that way it works with the various assistants, whether you're using Google or you're using Alexa Assistant, you can do that. And then you can say things like, hey, uh, turn on my space heater to uh, 82 degrees or turn off or whatever you want to set it on mode medium. Uh, there's different cues you can use. Just use your voice. You don't have to get up. You don't have to look for anything like that. You don't have to follow your phone, which is just a cool little feature. But like I said, you can control everything on the device without having to mess with the app itself. Um, so now let's go over how you turn it on. You're just going to simply um, press the power button and it will activate. And here it's quite uh, quiet, so it's not going to disturb you if you have it on the lower modes in like a bedroom, say. If you are utilizing the osculating button, which is just the two little arrows uh, it can osculate up to 83 degrees, so it's going to really be able to spread that heat around the room as you wish. It does have multiple modes, so it has your standard low, medium, and high mode. Your high mode goes up to 1500 watts of heat, uh, but then it also has some extra modes. So it can be in the sleep mode, which is going to turn off the uh, kind of lights, so that way it's not disturbing you at sleep. Uh, it also has what is called the natural wind mode. And what that's going to do is going to be stimulating wind. So it's kind of gusting more, I guess you could say. So it's supposed to feel like a natural breeze, uh, which is just kind of a nice little feature. It also has eco mode. And what eco mode is, it's designed to save you energy. So it's not that constant use of energy. It's more supposed to be um, kind of be a little bit more environment friendly and not hitting you as a bill. It, Utilize that if you're utilizing this for a longer period of time. Also, if you have it on for more than 24 hours, it will turn off automatically uh, built into the device. So if you forget to turn it off, it will turn off after 48 hours. Now, it does have the timer mode. So if you use the device itself, the timing options on the device, 
It's going to give you a four-hour timer or an eight-hour timer. You can obviously uh, tweak those a little bit other different. Uh, the plus and minus, like I said, is going to give you a temperature range. So on the low end, it's going to be uh, 41. On the high end, it's going to be 95. And that's going to trigger basically when it turns on, when it gets those internal temperatures. On the device itself, you will see it has a blinking uh, Wi-Fi symbol. Uh, that means it's looking to connect. Once it's connected, it'll be solid. You can also see it has a nice um, ring around it that allows for a nightlight. So if you have that, want to have this in a room and you want a nightlight, it has that feature built into it also, which is really, really great. So overall, it's a great little space heater, perfect for whatever average size room you may have that's around 200 square feet. Uh, so if you are looking for a space heater, I think this one is totally worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.